What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a quick Friday video. Today we're gonna to go over exactly how much I've spent on the $5,000 cheap M3 so far. So of course with any project that's this bad, you're gonna have a lot of repairs that you don't expect, that you don't initially account for. So I tried my best to do that and I gave myself a budget of $10,000. Now with that being said, have I broken it yet? We're gonna to have to find out. So starting with the number one thing, you're gonna know if you watched the uh, before episodes that I did a new steering wheel, a refurbished steering wheel that I cleaned up, that was Alcantara, that was $170. Uh, next was the rear panel. To paint that, that was $150. The front bumper um, was $350. The rear bumper wet sand and buff to get rid of the scratches was another 50 bucks. Uh, the shift knob, the ZHP uh, weighted performance shift knob was $75. The shift boot that I have yet to install, but that'll be one of the last things, was another $20. The armrest was $50 for the leather covering that is also gonna be installed this week. The interior repairs only cost me $75 um, to get those things cleaned up and kind of re-dyed. The rear seat cost me uh, $100 originally because I got it locally, but then it turned out to be a coupe rear seat. So, Depending on how we want to count that, I have two now. I had to buy another one for 175 um, off of eBay and uh, got that shipped. So I guess we'll just round it up. We'll say it costs us about $200 for that rear seat. Floor mats took from another car. So those are technically free, just, you know, it's an old set. Might get a new set that'll cost a hundred bucks. So that was kind of the general cosmetic list that I had. You remember some of the first episodes, once again, you remember that we had the relay we thought was bad. That was another 15 bucks. The badge we got from Elmhurst BMW, that was $35. The hood grill was about $40. The rear ashtray that we were about to install is about $50. Um, the starter also went out in one of the initial videos and that costs $175 for the part and then around $200 for the labor of installing that. Uh, the wheels cost $750, but if you take off the fact that I sold the wheels for $530, you know, you kind of have a nice $230 or $220 difference, uh, which is awesome. So not bad for the amount of upgrade that it provided. Chrome grills and for the side and the front cost me $100 used, but they're in great shape, which is awesome. Uh, mechanically, uh, the diff clunk, uh, we're still kind of not sure how many hours it's gonna take, but we're pretty much almost done. So uh, it cost me 135, 140 bucks to ship the ECS polyurethane bushings. And then, you know, me and Ethan are gonna work out a deal uh, for payment for that. So probably around four or 500 in labor um, to do that and the steering rack as well. The steering rack uh, cost $160 and that uh, was used as well from an, the same car we got the rear seat from uh, for 175 bucks. A couple additional parts uh, were the headlight ballast that we're also installing uh, this week. Uh, that's the ballast itself, the igniter, and the you know socket for the headlight. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I had all the parts given the headlight was out and it wasn't just a bulb. So for 65 bucks or 60 bucks, whatever that was, it was worth it. Window switch was 35 bucks, that was cracked, had to replace that. Window regulator uh, was about 100 bucks. I bought two of them, but the person on eBay refunded me because they sent me the wrong one. Uh, but I bought a new one from the auto parts store that matched and then the labor was about 75 bucks to put that in. Uh, so now the passenger window works. The headlight lenses were only 45 bucks, which made a huge difference, and everyone seemed to really like that mod. And that begs the question, how much did this all cost? And that brings us to the grand total of this whole cheap M3 build. Now, if you take all the parts we just added up and put that together with uh, the actual cost of the car, so that'd be 4,225 plus 5,000 I paid for the car, plus 725 to ship the car, you're gonna get the grand total of $9,950. Now, I know there's probably still a couple things A, I'm missing, and B, that I still need to buy for the car. That doesn't include registering it and titling and all that stuff. So I'll do a complete breakdown at the end. I mean, this is kind of to clean everything up to kind of give you guys, uh, keep you guys in the loop and do kind of a more specific like part by part basis. But these are all the things that were wrong with the car. So now that that's, you know, finished, this car is almost done. Um, we're wrapping up, you know, the diff and the power steering now, and we should be all good to go. So guys, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe would mean the absolute world to me. You can follow me on Instagram at SCLKR underscore media for all the behind the scenes. And as always, guys, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.